and my name's Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this fake letterbox filled with video or video filled border effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've just got a clip on the timeline, and in order to create this effect, we want to work with two layers. So I'm going to bring my original clip that I want in the middle to Video Track 2 or however your layers are, you just want it above, and then I'm going to bring in whatever I want to use as the fill in video or the border as video track one. So in this case, I've got some video of some waves. It kind of matches this nautical theme. And I'm just going to, these two are different frame sizes. So I'm simply going to right click and set to frame size. That's a neat little trick. And I'll even increase it a little bit more just to fill it in. And so now I have this clip on top of this in the layers. And in order to create kind of a fake letterbox effect, I'm going to go to the effects panel and search for one called crop. Now, I do want to make a quick note that true letterbox effects are created naturally when you have a, a widescreen video that's placed into a standard definition or different formats that are squeezed into each other. They're either, that's why those black bars appear on the left and right. So this isn't necessarily a, a real widescreen bar. This is just more of like a stylistic nod. And if we add the crop effect to the top and bottom, we'll be able to reveal that video clip underneath in a widescreen bar type of look. So if I add, let's say 13% to the top about and 13% to the bottom, we now have created these kind of bar borders and the original video clip in between. So it can be cool for a stylish effect, adding some more visual information in a clip for a music video or a kind of montage type of scene in a clip. And not only can you do a video under a video, you can basically put anything underneath at this point. We've created a transparency. So if I wanted to add just like a color or a gradient underneath, I could go to File, New, Color Mat, and I could choose any color to kind of use as a little fake widescreen border. And let's say I add that color mat instead. And another trick, if you wanted to just do a full on border rather than like a widescreen bar border, if is if you just crop all of the sides. So you can visually crop in a little bit more on the right and left. Let's do like seven and seven. And in this case, we have just like a stylistic colorful border. Maybe you could add text in the corners if you wanted like um, August trip. I could add this cool text in the corner. And that's that might be a reason why you might wanna do this. Just kind of creating more of a composition out of your video clips something cool like this. Or you could still go with the video clips underneath. And not only can you just keep the normal video clips, you can add effects onto them too. Like let's say I did a tint onto the effect instead or made it black and white or made it different colors to offset it from the other side. Another tip for adding borders, if you don't happen to have a cool texture or B-roll footage that you want in the background is you could simply duplicate your original footage so I'll just keep the original footage. So in this case, I have the same footage in the background, just the top one is kind of cropped in. And I can simply just offset the bottom clip in some way. So whether that's changing a color effect like that, or if I go to like flip horizontal or flip vertical on the transform effects, that can be enough to create the border just like that. And you can also adjust the crop to your liking. So I could set it back to the widescreen look like that if I didn't have different b-roll this would be good enough or if you don't use the crop effect at all just for the square border you can simply lower the scale of the top clip however much you want so in this case we create like a thin little border of the vertically flipped clip so we're basically just using transparencies and different layers stacked on top of each other to create these different borders whether it's a color or video clip or, or filled in widescreen bars if you enjoyed this video, you can find more tutorials like this in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.